was a busy weekend for firefighters across the Brazos Valley who responded to several large fires. And News 3's Tyler Hoskins spoke to firefighters today about those challenges and everything that they're facing while we've got this high fire danger. A Calvert home engulfed in flames on Sunday now sets as burnt rubble. Trees nearby still smoke to Monday. The cause of the fire is unclear, but several vehicles were destroyed and one person is dead. In Madison County, a fast-moving grass fire in North Zolch scorched 35 acres. The Forest Service says the fire was contained in about five hours. But triple-digit temperatures, wind, and low humidity have made firefighting tough. With those challenges, as well as with our critical dry vegetation, that is playing an additional element where we're, a lot of these fires are being resistant to a lot of our control efforts. On Saturday, a fire on Old Reliance Road in Bryan was started by a mechanical failure. Bryan Fire says it spread like, well, wildfire. The uh, forecasted spread rate for today is 487 feet per minute. So to put that in perspective, that's well over a football field in under a minute. So you can see how fast these fires spread. A reminder, any spark can cause a devastating fire. Fire not only takes lives, it takes property. It's very sad. And so just to kind of think about something very small that could have prevented something so huge that somebody loses their homes or they lose a loved one or they lose animals or what have you, um, just being taking those few extra precautions really can make a big difference. In at this time, every county in the Brazos Valley is under a burn ban. Yesterday, a burn ban violation in Milam County caused a 15 to 20 acre grass fire.